It's a rainy day at the beginning of autumn. What started as a two-week stay at my parents' home turned into six weeks after I fractured my back falling down the stairs. Now that I have more time, <laughs> I can't believe I fell down the stairs. It's, uh, anyway, now that I have more time, today I'm going to give you a tour of my parents' nostalgic basement. Hey, so today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm at my parents' house and uh, I like coming down here. It's very stimulating, very visually stimula stimulating. You can see why it would be fun to hang out down here. Right, right? I mean, why are you? She does this. <laughs> All right, let's start with the, the DVD section. Because when I was growing up, I loved watching movies. Obviously, it influenced me. But I didn't just watch movies. I, I really liked to uh, learn about the process. And DVDs were the first time that a lot of us were introduced to behind the scenes uh, behind the scenes of movies so anyway i remember rush hour and rush hour 2 being big with me like very funny puffy no puffy and um they had great behind the scenes on it like tons of behind the scenes stuff stunt stuff you know um how they came up with endings i loved it really got my imagination going for one of my first films when i was I think in junior high, I made a buddy buddy movie with some of my friends and really used this as a template for the relationship. Um, what's up, Doc? That's a good one as well. It's so funny and it's really well done. It's made in the 70s, got Barbra Streisand and uh, this guy, Ryan O'Neill. But it's got a great ensemble cast. This one is, all, I've always looked at this one as like, some a, a really big inspiration for kind of the movies that I'm doing now. Very ensemble, very funny. Twister. I loved it because my parents took me out of school to watch it, um, <laughs> which is great. Like, and I lived in I lived in Illinois. That's where I grew up in a small town town in Illinois, and all the cornfields and atmosphere of this movie are just like right up my alley. And Back to the Future. Anyone who knows me. Yeah, you know I'm obsessed. All right, but anyway, as you can see, like there's a lot to, to choose from. Sometimes I just look at this and um, don't even watch anything. Just look at the, the boxes. Great poster. This is a new addition to their basement and uh, it's got some great people. I love James Dean, I love him. I'll talk about the books that I've, I've read every book on him basically, but uh, over here, Buffy, stop humping me. Okay, so I noticed that my dad purchased this Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection, and Hitchcock is, I mean, anyone who doesn't know him, go out and look, because he's a master of suspense, and I really do respect his work. It's got all the movies, <clears throat> I think all the movies, Rear Window, Vertigo, The Birds, Psycho. These movies really taught me something about it's not what you show sometimes, it's sometimes what you hold back so that the people can use their imaginations, which is something that I think is missing from cinema today, along with so many other things. You know, Hollywood has so much money, but they don't even know how to use it a lot of times. So here's some, uh, some things we got at a thrift store called Savers. And uh, <laughs> I found this and I thought it was really interesting because Obviously, someone just made their own copy, made their own version. You know, they like printed it onto this. And I was like, I have to have it. I don't know why. I don't even know what's on it. It could be a porn. But look at this. Like someone took the time to make their own VHS. I'm going to still pop it in sometime and see what it looks like. But I don't know. I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. It even has like, oh, I shouldn't show you that. But it's someone, it's to someone. Another thing I found is... These VHS tapes of the Star Wars, which are unaltered, and I don't think I've seen those since um, I was really, really young. So I had to snatch these up and see, you know, see what we were dealing with before it got altered. That was exciting for me. I couldn't find Empire Strikes Back, but uh, I had to buy these. This movie, I don't. I've only seen it once when I was a kid, and it's really didn't buy it because it's a movie I'm going to watch, but I just thought it was interesting. Whenever I see things, I mean, VHS is so, I mean, it's out of print. No one does it anymore, right? But I was like, it's funny that they have two 
cassette tapes. They look like a collector's thing. Probably not worth anything, but I don't know. If it is, let me know in the comments. I would love to know. I'll probably do nothing about it. So as you can see, there's, there's books all over the place. And um, there's basically books in every room of my parents' house. I, I picked out some books that influenced me when I was a kid or, or really helped me with my imagination. Um, starting off, I've got some choose your own adventure books. These are always fun when you're a kid. You know, back then these were cool because it's like, oh, I get to control the story. Um, a lot of good ones. I liked uh, this one, the first Olympics, the worst day of your life. Um, I have some other ones I'm missing that are great, like a haunted house one that was so good. Who are you? I remember that one being great. Roller star. Remember when people used to roller skate? These are great. Anyway, I love biographies. I've read them since uh, uh, my late teens, maybe into my 20s. I started getting very voracious about reading biographies. I'm always trying to get clues about how people take rejection, how they take success, and um, kind of get an insight to what they're really like. So a selection that I leave at my parents' house, um, I get these at thrift stores all the time. and. A selection I, I always revisit when I come back is uh, the Michael J. Fox one, Lucky Man. I love him. I love it. He's a great guy, and this is a great book. Get a lot of insight into sort of what he's gone through with his career, his family, and of course, Parkinson's disease. This one I picked up at Savers as well. I like Patrick Swayze, and I wanted to get an insight into his life. And um, yeah, this was pretty good. It was pretty good. A little light. Actually, very fast read, very fast read, but gives you some insight. Heath Ledger, this is one I got when I was in Florida. I, I was living in Florida for a couple years, and of course, Heath Ledger is interesting to any young actor. He's uh, kind of, he was a fearless actor. This is an interesting book, has a lot of misspelling in it, but some cool details. I'm no, you're noticing like there's a couple of dead people in here that I like to read about, or people with some disease, or or um, James Dean, he's another icon. It's like, I, yeah. Gina's like, my wife is like, uh, why do you read all these, what's with your obsession with um, actors who are dead? I'm like, it's not the dead part, it's the fact that the chapter's really closed in a way, and I just find it interesting reading about their life. Okay. I'm looking for my box of toys, and I know my mom, my mom keeps it in here. Lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think she has enough tissues. Maybe. 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 Might need a flashlight. My mom keeps my my toys from my childhood here, but I don't know exactly exactly where. Found a lot of stuff. Wow. This was one of the camcorders we used to film with all the time. It brings me back. Now we just film with phones and things like that. But look at this charger. Oh, it's heavy duty. <laughs> yeah. Plug it right into the back or you just use battery packs, but holy crap. So that's where you used to make your movies? Yep, that was the one. This is an ancient time. <laughs> Clorox, you need it for the old memories. But anyway, okay, I'll get, I'll get to all this stuff. This one's the one I'm excited about, but my toy car collection here, very near and dear to me, it, it used to be at least. Got all sorts of cars I used to play with. I love these. You know, to the average viewer, it's like, so what, right? But these cars mean a lot to me. I, um, uh, the most special car from the lot isn't here. It's back home in Arizona. Uh, because we used it for our movie Schlepp. It's like an orange car. Oh, cool. All right. This is the invisible shadow toy. Oh, that's cool. It moves. Yep. Scarecrow. You can do this. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, he moved too. Yeah. yeah. These are my, I used to love Power Rangers. This is part of the Mecha, whatever you call it, the Megazord or something. But all the different ones come together and, and make this awesome robot. This is part of the Green Lantern, the Green Lantern, the Green Power Rangers one. This is really special to me because I'm going to have a son here coming up uh, next year. 
And I want to share some of these toys with him and see how he reacts to it. He might be like, what is this? But Max is going to love this. Max is going to love it. All right. This one is so... Oh, man, this takes me... This used to make me so happy. Just looking at him made me happy. Filled me with so much joy. This, I mean, you can see why. This is the 89 Batman. Yeah. My parents got this for me. He's got... He's a little worse for the wear, but he still has that glory, doesn't he? Oh, that's awesome. It looks like Keaton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The mouth yeah. and everything. Yeah. Little Batman Forever book. I like Batman Forever. Ooh, let me see the book. Batman Forever. From the hit movie. That's so funny. Look at this. Oh. The Batmobile. The 89 Batman. This Batmobile, it used to have this um, the shield here. But I don't know where that is now. I love oh, it. Man. This one is from Batman Forever. We should take them. <laughs> uh, well, we can't take it on the airplane, unfortunately. This is missing the wings and all that stuff. But still a pretty cool Bat Batmobile. This was uh, from Batman 89, I think, too. It would shoot out this, like, this projectile. It's kind of like a Batman glove. This is laser tag. Awesome. Look at this ridiculous thing, but still cool. Oh, are those walkie talkies? Yep. <gasps> that is so cool. Love it, right? Yes. Now this one's from Batman Forever and it would flash this light. You need batteries and stuff, but you would hold this and a light would shine out like a bat signal. Oh. And then you'd put a, you'd, there's a dart and you shoot it out. I love this one. Oh. It's pretty cool. That is cool. Whoa. This is what, as a baby, this was my penguin suit. <gasps> my tuxedo. Aww. Maybe Max will fit in it. Yeah, we can wash it. Wash yeah. it, yeah. <gasps> now this was a, this is one for Bruce Wayne to sit in. His own like little cool car. If you would do this. Which it probably doesn't work anymore because I taped it, but it would come out and you'd shoot some stuff. You remove this. I even have a guy from Batman forever. Oh, sweet. And basically, Bruce Wayne would be in one, and then you'd pull it back and Batman would show up. Oh. But it doesn't really work anymore. It's still pretty slick. Batman trading cards. Oh. Think they might be worth something now? <laughs> I kind of doubt it. They're not packaged or anything, but I used to love looking at it. Robin cycle. Another. Oh, this one. Look. Oh, cool. And you would wind it. Oh, sweet. I used to get winded up more, but Batman, the animated series Batmobile. Ah. Still pretty cool. I love it. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I'm guessing Batman was your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Catwoman. Love it. The best Catwoman. Yes. Laser discs. This was a big part of my childhood. And I always liked laser discs because they're huge. They're huge. It's like you're looking, I mean, the poster itself is, it's really great. But anyway, let's take a look at one of these. Untouchables, contact, good movie. That's never even opened. It is because, oh. it, yeah, it is here, but they kept the, the oh, I see. E.T. Nice. Look at that. I like it because look how big the poster is. You want to see what this looks like, right? Wow. Our other house uh, that I grew up in had a flood. Ruined so many of the rooms and these are the only laser discs we could save. I had Back to the Future and, and Terminator. Like, I had a bunch of them that were great, but they got moldy, and these are the ones we saved. Speed, love it. English Patient, never seen it. Independence Day, oh yeah, love it. Some of these, by the way, one film has like three discs. You'd have to get up and switch it over. Doc Hollywood, Clueless. <gasps> Clueless! <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. Wow, how many discs oh, are here? Oh, wow. Probably a bunch of discs on this one. Top Gun. Sound of Music. It's actually pretty good. Good movie. Amadeus. Never seen it. 
And so I married an axe murderer. <laughs> Outdated technology, but so fun to look at. So in this corner, uh, these are tapes that I would, you know, from a camcorder. And, and ever since I was little, my parents would film us like since we were babies. And we got to see ourselves grow on these, you know. This is a movie I used to make, I made when I was younger called Shriek 2. Kind of like a scary movie type thing before a scary movie came out. Girl on TV, LFO. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I liked the band LFO when I was younger. I don't know why. I made some music videos with my friends and, but anyway, this, this is a big part of what helped me, helped me to become a filmmaker. Um, I, I made countless movies with my friends in, in high school, junior high. Well, even when I was six years old, I made um, my version of Batman Returns, even though I wasn't able to watch that. My parents didn't allow me. They said it was too dark. And uh, I didn't see it till I was way older. What do you think, Buffy? She wants... Love at Second Sight, rated PG-13, starring Dan Berger and Jennifer Smith. <laughs> PG-13, I love it. I mean... You rated your own movies? Oh, yeah. This is shameful. See, these, these tapes are so old. This is like 93 or something. And the only way I can show you now is my friend Dan. Uh... Oh man, this is sad. There's me as Batman. Mm -hmm. You can even see Catwoman in the background, but oh man, there I am. Batman. My friend always played the bad guys or Robin. Well, I hope you enjoyed that walk down Nostalgia Lane. I know I did. I'm so thankful to my parents for uh, saving these toys in the first place. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What? Are you guys downstairs? Yeah, I'm filming, Mom. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Hold on. Actually, you can use that. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Anyway. Hi. Well, anyway, I'm not going to cut that. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if you saw any toys here that you had in your childhood. Um, if you don't see any, just let me also let me know if there is any. <laughs> no, I won't cut this. I won't. Uh, let me know if the, your parents saved anything from uh, when you were growing up that you have to this day. I'd love to know what that is. And of course, I'll see you again next week. We upload videos every single week and I'll see you then. Bye.